So I mentor agents across the country and beyond in the Market Authority Academy, and a significant portion of them are agents who are ready to get to that next level. You know, the deal, they've been in the business for a couple of years, like they understand how to close real estate, but maybe they've been kind of plateaued at the same income level for a couple of years, or they just know that there is more potential that they're not tapping into. So in this video, I wanna share how I might guide an agent in that position to get to that next level in their business. So the first thing that we want to look at in terms of getting to the next level in terms of production or revenue is your conversion rates. Okay, now a lot of times these agents who come to me have never really tracked their metrics in any significant way. And I get it. It is such a bummer to have to go through and count your leads and do the little simple math to figure out your conversion rates. But without understanding where your business is at, you can't really create a plan for where it needs to go. And so you have to have an understanding of your most common lead generation sources. And then you also have to have an understanding of what that conversion rate across the board is. If you have years worth of this data, that is awesome. Because for example, if you're able to look at your database conversion from year one and two, and com compare it to year five through seven, you should see a very significant raise in that conversion. These are things that we want to be measuring for because the first thing that we can do to just simply earn more money without necessarily changing anything is making sure that we are getting as many opportunities as we can and closing those opportunities. The last thing you want to do in this position when you're like trying to get to that next level is go invest in lead spend. Because for example, if you invest in lead spend and get an influx of leads into your business, you might not have the right systems in place to convert those leads. And that is a key factor that we can actually determine from your existing conversion rates. So you gotta do this first. Once you identify those conversion rates, you need a plan to max those out across the board. So I'm talking like a three to six month plan to increase conversion rates as high as you possibly can using technology and systems, and maybe even some combination of delegation and automation. Once you're gaining progress there, then you can start to look at additional lead source opportunities, right? So depending on the agent, they might be in a position where they've never really generated their database, like they've never put a database together. Maybe they've closed hundreds of deals at that point, but once their clients closed, they kind of just like, <laughs> and, and then they just like never hear from them again. And we know the statistics, something like 80 plus percent of home buyers and sellers would use their agents again, but only like 9% remember them. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's something around that ballpark. A lot of agents, even if they've been in the business for several years, have not taken care of their database. So for example, if we're looking at lead sources, a lot of times it's not a matter of like, oh, go spend ads, go spend money on ads, go buy leads. It's like, dude, put your database together and let's put a database marketing plan there so that we can start generating some easy referrals. In other instances, if the agent has an eye to grow a team or expand, you know, that kind of an impact going to other areas, then purchasing leads might make sense. But you do want to really have clear, clear understanding of what the goals are. And you have to determine whether or not you have the right systems in place for that. So for example, if you do decide that you want to spend money on Google, Google PPC leads, and you're going to invest in a marketing platform like Ylobo to do that, are you ready to actually follow up and convert with those leads? How many do you anticipate bringing in? Will you need an ISA to help you, right? So like you have to really start asking some strategic questions and you have to set yourself up to be the agent who closes double the business before you close double the business. You have to have that infrastructure built out because just getting the leads is not going to take you there. You have to have those foundational systems in place and that's what helps you achieve that. So that leads us to step three is tightening up those systems. So once we have a plan to max out conversion across existing lead sources, and we've identified new opportunities that we want to explore, now we need to really take a good look under the hood and roll your sleeves up and see where we need to implement some structure. Now, this is where I shine. <laughs> this is my area of expertise, and this is why I created the Market Authority Academy. I am an expert at going in, rolling up the sleeves, looking under the hood of a real estate agent business, and understanding what critical components might be missing or what can be placed to help make sure that we close any gaps and really tighten up all of the things in place to ensure that your business is running smoothly. 
So again, if you want a little help in this area, the ways that you can contact me are below. You can book a call with me to inquire about coaching with me in the Market Authority Academy. This is an area where I excel and my agents who undertake this process, it is not uncommon for them to triple their revenue in 12 months or less just by making sure that they are tightening up their systems. So at this point, this is going to be a multi-month, even multi-year process in some cases, depending on how drastic you're revamping your business. But at this point, you have done a couple of things. So again, we've maxed out our conversion rates, we've identified new opportunities, and we have fixed the systems problems in our business. And I just want to speak about the systems problem again, just really quickly. I have agents who earn almost a million GCI a year or more who have been in the business for decades and who have never systemized their business. And I'm here to tell you that that is an exhausting way to operate and that leads to burnout and missed opportunities and a lack of options. And so I know that that part feels really tedious, but it's really, really important because that is what allows us to do the next step, which is get to delegating and automating. And that's where things get really exciting. Now, I often say how a, an agent really can do like two to three things per day that actually is ultimately going to impact their bottom line positively. As a real estate agent, we should only be focusing on like the top three priorities per day that are revenue producing, that are going to bring in opportunities for our business and help us to continue to grow. We need to get to the point where we have offloaded everything else but those three activities to either other people or technology. For my seasoned agents, this can be really scary because if they're used to white knuckling their business, the thought of handing something over is petrifying to them because they are either afraid of the facade of, of perfection being muddied, or they internally have an understanding that their workflow is not clear enough for the expectation to be set with any new hire in order to see the results that they're looking for. Both are super common problems. Both are what we work on in the Market Authority Academy, side note. But when it comes to making sure that we are delegating and automating, when you have the system, you have the procedure, you have the workflow. And it's as simple as just saying, Here's what I need you to do. I have already done the research on this process. I have already determined the steps you will take. This is what I need you to do. And this is the result I need you to come back to me with. And then it actually makes a perfect situation for everybody involved because the agent has confidence that they'll be able to measure productivity. They'll be able to measure the results and the individual taking that work, whether they're a marketing assistant or a transaction coordinator or a showing agent, whoever it is, they have absolute clarity on what the expectation is and they have a plan to follow. And so a lot of times when agents come to me, they've been in the business for like seven or 10 years, they say, you know, I've hired a couple of admins or I've hired a couple of people and it just didn't work well. And, you know, I'm, I, I'm probably just not a great person to work for because I like to white knuckle and, and I just have a lot of control issues. You, you might, but I think what the problem here is, is you don't have the confidence to actually offload a procedure that you haven't thought through well enough. And so we can do that, we can fix that. And, and it's a really simple matter of breaking down those workflows and then putting the right personnel in place or even better in some cases, implementing the right technology, which is going to be a lot less costly. And now, as you can see, this clearly can be, in some cases, a multi-year process. And the agents who are willing to go through that process are the agents who jump from earning 250K per year GCI to 750 or more within two to three years. And I think that that journey is worth the wait. I think it's worth the time it takes. And I think it's worth the effort because imagine the impact you'll be able to create for your family and for your community and for your staff by being able to create a business model that allows you to to do that, right? It's super cool. And so this is the stuff that I love to do. This is the stuff that lights me up. If you need some help on this journey, let's chat. All the details to book a time with me are below, but I, I do hope that you found this helpful. And I hope that this gave you some sense of clarity on 
what that path might look like for you as you go forward to the next level in your business. Now, I have a really big ask for you. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and that bell notification icon below. This does a couple of things. Number one, helps us stay in touch, right? So you won't miss another video that I post, but it also helps this channel reach other agents who might be struggling with the same things that you are. And any agent who wants to support this industry and help us all rise up together is one that I wanna support. So thank you so much for supporting this channel and giving me the opportunity to continue creating content for you as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, keep on crushing it.